Welcome aboard passengers, Mega Sim here for another episode of Train Sim World 2. As you know, as we are all watching this at the same time as my latest looking closer at Sandpatch Grade, Dovetail Games have released a new news article all around adhesion. Get a grip! <laughs> so, feeling the slip and the slide of wheels with adhesion. So the proprietary Simugraph vehicle dynamics engine has been evolved, adding some realistic adhesion physics for the first time. So we are allowing to feel the train's grip of the rails in a variety of different conditions. And as they said, driving trains have never felt so real. So it changes how uh, your train responds to the conditions and how you operate the controls. So we've got the train weight, weather conditions, track grade, uh, the type of locomotive, throttle, brake position, all of that affects how the train behaves and how the locomotive behaves. So an empty train on a gradual grade, which I mentioned in the video earlier, will behave differently to a fully loaded train. So you have to adapt to your technique, make use of features such as sanding. Now we know with sanding, sanding is unlimited, so the sand is unlimited on trains in World 2. But also we need to combine it with the vehicle weight and the vehicle system, so it changes the way you play. So they've given us a couple of examples. On the Bakerloo line departing Oxford Circus Station towards Piccadilly Circus, the grade of the line increases dramatically as it dips below the sea level. So if you apply the brakes in the same fashion at the same distance as you had in previous stops, you're going to overshoot the platform because there is an increased grade on the line and lack of traction. So what we need to do is we need to start perfecting that braking point and learning these new routes, trying to know where we brake. It's not going to be the same for each one. And it doesn't just change how you stop. Sandpatch grade, experience the real challenge of hauling the long, heavy freight on steep grades. Getting a train full to the brim with coal um, in the Allegheny Mountains is going to be a challenge. So just applying power too quickly, wheels will slip. Taking away vital power when it's needed the most, that's not what we want, is it? We don't want wheel slip. And understanding how to use sand and using it correctly, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> using it correctly, just so we can improve that grip at those critical times. Because going uphill, yeah, that might be easy, but what about downhill? As I said earlier about the truck, the fire truck, braking and then the water coming past you, it's that sort of thing that you're going to think of, the same heavy haul sort of scenario when you're going down the hill, it's going to be different. And also, as they said, weather. Weather will have so many differences and changes to this um, with the adhesion. It's not going to be the same. Just powering over wintry German landscape, going 250 kilometers an hour in the ICE. Applying too much brake, your wheels will lose grip entirely, so it will skate over the icy track. Changing not just the braking point, but the actual control that we have of the train. So, ahead of each scenario, we have been told that we will get an overview of your consist, the information about the weight, the length, just to adjust what we need to at the right point, at the right conditions. So perfecting that, perfecting that right technique is going to be so much more difficult if you want the different weathers. They've said that normal weather, bland, plain, you know, no rain, nothing. There's not really much of a difference, but having the rain on, having the winter on, the snow, it's you're gonna master. It's gonna take a while to master that. Just learning those different things, understanding the different ins and outs of each route. As we said with the Bakerloo line, you know, certain stations will be different from others. But what we are so looking forward to is trying out that adhesion, bringing that full control, more control to us, to make it more realistic. And at the end of the news article, they have confirmed still, Trains of World Two is coming to PS4. Xbox One and Steam PC on the 20th of August. Just under a month away. Hopefully you've liked the uh, screenshots that we've got going through this video. These were the screenshots that were provided by Dovetail Games. Um, and I will also link a... Uh, I will put the link to the news article in the description below. But no, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And there's also Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Megasim UK. Hope you have a pleasant day. And uh, yeah, if you haven't watched the Sand Patch Grade uh, closer look at the images, go and take a look at that. We will see you 
on the next video. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.